In this section, I'd like to briefly talk about master calibration data. There's a behavior that you'll want to know when you're working with them. The first thing you'll want to know is that when you run WBPP at the end of the execution, a successful execution anyway, you will have master bias, master dark, master flat, master calibration files of some form. And WBPP will automatically load them into uh, the script here because if you want to run WBP P again on the same data set because you want to make an adjustment or a different data set, all you need to have then are the masters. You wouldn't want to have to spend the time to recreate them every time. So you'll see here that now masters are loaded at the top. We have a master bias here, two master darks, of course, they're differentiated by the exposure time and master flats, which are differentiated by the filter. And these master files, once you have them loaded, even though we have all this data here, we have all of these hundreds of files loaded here. If you look in the calibration panel, it's not going to show those groups because it's not going to use them to create a master. We just have the masters here loaded for us. So that's the, the preference. When we have masters in the group, it's going to defer to those to calibrate our light frame data. There's another thing that's important to know here, and this is a common, I don't know, misconception. Sometimes people stumble over this in the very beginning. Notice how, because I've now run it once, I've run WBPP, I've generated master calibration data. Look at the flat. See, this flat here says that it doesn't have, uh, it's not going to be using the bias frame. This is the confusion that people have. They're expecting, like with raw flat data, it needs to be calibrated, and you can calibrate a master flat with either a flat dark or with the bias frame, right? But no dark or bias is being used here. Why? Well, this is a master flat. The master flat is a calibrated frame. It's already calibrated. It's all ready to go to use with these light frames down below. Furthermore, in this particular situation, when I have these masters loaded as I do, no longer is the master bias necessary at all. It's not being used because the only two reasons that you have a master bias or you're using one is that you're going to calibrate short exposures like flat field images or you're going to be doing some kind of dark frame optimization or scaling. And we're doing neither here. So the bias isn't necessary. We have everything we need with our darks and our already calibrated master flats. So that's just, uh, I want to, head that confusion off, make sure that that's not an issue. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how WBPP knows about what a master uh, file is, master calibration file, because if you have ever run W, uh, excuse me, have, if you have ever done a manual calibration and you created your own masters of dark frames or biases or flats, uh, there's nothing in the file that says it's a master. And so you need to tell WBPP in some way, these are master files. And that's what I'm going to show you here. But first, let me show you, of course, when you generate masters here in WBPP, everything is going to be formatted properly. And let me show you what I mean by that. If we come here and I navigate to the masters, uh, the master folder, and I open up one of these master files, Ignore the integration stuff here. So there it is. And if we look at the FITS header, this is something that is uh, specific to PixInsight where the image type is changed to master bias. The image type was, for all the raw data, bias, but now it's actually written as master bias. So even if I change the name of this, and I can even do that just for fun, I'm just going to demonstrate this. So if I navigate, uh, sorry, to that, um, to that directory. So here's the master right here. I'm going to copy this. I'm just going to move it to here, paste it. And what I'm going to do, you'll see that the word master is written in the, the file name, but this is not how WBPP knows that that is a master not in this particular case, although we'll take advantage of a different kind of logic in just a moment. So I'm going to remove this one from here, and then I'm just going to load that one that I just copied, this one here, 
And the thing is, it is going to load as a master file. Now, again, it knows that because it's being read in the, uh, the FITS header. That's where it's getting the information from. That's how it knows that this is a master file. But that is written there only in one process, WBPP. It's the only script that actually writes that as an image type. But you don't, that doesn't happen when you do a manual calibration. So you have these either you know, manually calibrated data or data that doesn't have that information in it, perhaps from some other source, and you want to make them uh, be cast as, become uh, master frames. So how do we do that? So that's what I'd like to show. I am going to remove these, and uh, in fact, I'm going, to, I'm going to do the following while I'm right here. I'm going to remove these guys as well. So I'm just going to remove all the masters that I currently have in play. And uh, what I can do is the following. If I were to put the word master, that is one way. Um, the other way is that it can read the path. So you can either change the name of the file that is not currently a master. You can make it a master by adding the word master to the file name. Or you can put it in a folder that has the name master associated with it. I'm going to delete this here. And let me navigate now to the raw stuff, which is in my Draco directory here. So I am going to, this is totally random, all right? I'm going to pull out some, let's go to the flats here. I'm going to pull out a couple of flats. So here is a blue flat. Here is a green flat. And here is a red flat. And I'm going to copy them. And then I'm just going to place them here. So in WBPP, what I'm going to do is open these, and I'm just going to demonstrate this with one of them. So the blue one here does not have, it is not actually a, it is just a single frame that I'm messing with right now. But I am going to add the word master here. We know that I loaded that, for, this is one of the frames that's loaded in the list. But by adding the word master to it, when we open this now here, so let me get to the right place. So here's that file. We'll open it, go to the flats, and you'll see that it is loaded as a master file. Even though it is not a master file, it gets loaded as a master file because I added the word to the file name. But if you have a whole bunch of files, you might not want to do that. So let me show you the last method that is uh, nice to take advantage of. There we go. The last method is, let's say we do not change this name. We keep the name as it was, like this. But now I'm going to do a folder method. I'm going to call these my masters, like this. And because it has the word master in the folder name, it's going to do the same thing because WBPP is scanning the path name for the word masters. So here they are, the three files are in here. If I now come here, load files, go into my masters and load them. Even though it has nothing, there's not, it's not in the fits header, it's not in the file name, it's just now in the path statement. They will be loaded as masters now as well. So that's your total control package, if you will, for uh, the creation of and the manipulation of, management of these uh, master calibration data. This finally explains one more thing that you'll find here in WBPP, which is this check mark. The check mark here says detect masters from file path. This, um, the reason that that's there is that there is an issue when if you actually, some people use the word masters in some, it may not have even been anything about the uh, astronomy, or maybe it did, but they actually had the word master in the f in the path statement and so and it might have been upstream it might have been some directory you know uh closer to the root than the directories they were working in it's, but then when they loaded their data because wbpp scanned the entire path and it found the word once it found master then all of the data loaded as masters which was crazy it was like the trouble of tribbles with calibration master files uh, so that was unwanted 
if that happens to you in that rare case, you can figure out what's going on because you'll have all kinds of masters everywhere and you just turn this off. You would just uncheck that. And then of course, because you'll notice how they disappear now. Here, let me, that was like a magic trick. Let me show you. They reappear here because they're in the path and only in the path statement. Once I uncheck this, those so-called masters now disappear. So I hope you enjoyed this very brief thing about masters. It's not like super critical, but it's the kind of thing that you, you should appreciate. Uh, you should also appreciate that whenever you have a whole bunch of raw data like this, and let's say you're just creating a, a library of master files to create these masters to work with for other data. You know, you can always just not do this with any light frames at all. So I will just clear all the light frames. And uh, what you'll find is we can then just take these groups and it'll just output the master files uh, for calibration purposes. So um, if we look at the diagnostics here, well, it's going to complain I don't have an output directory. Uh, but the note is that there are no light frames have been provided. That's fine. We don't need to do anything. All it's going to do then is do the following here. It'll create a master bias, master dark, master flat. Perfect. And that master flat, of course, is going to be calibrated. So it is going to create calibrated flats and it'll be calibrated by the master, uh, master bias that's created uh, previously. So that's it. Thank you very much, and I look forward to telling you all about WBPP in future sections.